My video on how to update the firmware on a Thrustmaster steering wheel is very popular and yet I receive a lot of questions from people about uh, their wheel not being detected by their PC. The reason is, and I'm sorry about that, I forgot to mention uh, this in the original video. Uh, the reason is because you don't have a driver installed on your PC. So today I will show you how to install the driver of your wheel on your PC so you can after that update your firmware. So the first thing to do is to jump on the Trustmaster website which is Trustmaster.com and all the downloads in this website are in support. So if you go on support you have three options. Frequent ask question, download and legacy products. We want obviously to click on download. After that, you have four options, which is a racing wheel, joystick, gamepads, and gaming headsets. Uh, since you have watched my previous video about updating the firmware, uh, you will probably want to click on racing wheel. So in this page, you have a lot of product, not only racing wheel, but a display, connection, stuff like that. So you need to find your wheel. In my case, it's the T300RS, so I will scroll down, and it is right here, the T300RS. So you click on your wheel, not on this wheel, if you don't have this wheel. And even in this page, you have the warning that if you want to use it on a PC, you need to switch the PS4, PS3 switch, to PS3 position so your PC can recognize the wheel. So this is the first step you will need to do before connecting the wheel to your PC. But we want the driver, so you scroll down and down here you have driver, firmware, button mapping, gaming setting, frequent ask question, list, license and knowledge base. What we want originally is the driver. So you click on driver and as you can see the latest version is 2020, so uh, it's a pretty good driver. Uh, so you want to download this file. While we're here, your original wish was to uh, upgrade your firmware. Technically, when you will install the driver on your PC, the, the panel of the wheel or the driver will have a button for firmware upgrade or update so you will be able to click on it but just in case you don't have this option uh, it's just safe or another precaution to download that firmware as well so at least you will be able to install it manually if you don't have the button so you can click on download here again so when you download this firmware, you might receive a message that this file can arm your PC, but there is no problem with that. I installed these drivers or these drivers on multiple PC without any problem at all. So you can keep it. Uh, now, unless you want to look at the button mapping and stuff like that, we're done with the website. It's download, it's very fast, not a big file. So now you go on in your download folder and you have it right here. To install it, you need to right click on your uh, mouse and run it as administrator. I won't install it because I already have this installed on my PC. So I will just click no. It's a very, very small file to install, so it's very fast. And this is it. This is where you find the driver for your wheel. It's very simple, but obviously when you don't know where to look at, it might be very complicated. I won't go through the whole process of opening the panel and all that thing because it's all explained in the other video. I will put the link in the description as well as I will put uh, the link in the top right corner so you can click on it right away and you will be led to the video that I'm talking about for those who haven't seen it yet. But at least now you know where to find a driver. But anyway, I hope it's helped. And as I said, I will put the link of the previous video or the original video in the description so you can go and have a look at it. So on this, I wish everybody a great day and see you later. Bye.